Welcome back to the channel and welcome to my gauzing splat high rise office living room. Such a cool place uh, with a view out the window there. I feel like this is a little bit like the Wild West, the very beginning of gauze and splats, and we have now introduced gauze and splats into the Jet Set app. I am using the Pro version. With the Pro version, you can actually create your own splats, your own environments, and I'll walk you through how I made this one. And with the Pro version, you can actually import them onto your iPhone, um, which is really cool because uh, we're using Marble AI as the platform for designing these, these splats. And I have done, I mean, hours, a deep dive into how to create the most realistic, photorealistic images. Uh, you have a, a few ways to do this. You can do the traditional text to image generation. Uh, you can test that quality where you actually, I go into ChatGPT and tell it what I want, let it come up with a much more flowery, descriptive description. You can take still photos. Uh, it allows you to, to uh, upload eight photos. The idea is you would take overlapping photos of a room. Um, across the middle, maybe down on the floor. Only eight images though, so the eight overlapping. The third way, the way that I'm using and the way that I designed this set, and I'll explain my little cheat there, uh, was using video. So I have done a scan of my living room. Uh, you're allowed 30 seconds. The file needs to be under 100 megabytes. And the idea is you would do a scan, maybe across the middle, and then I do another, another kind of swipe across the top and across the bottom. Uh, you, you can do 360. My feeling is if you're going to be shooting a scene using virtual production where you're not really wanting to walk around, that you really want to focus on one part of a room, I would spend more time, frankly, focusing on giving the, the model uh, that imagery. It's going to then fill in the 360, maybe get lucky and it produces something that's really usable on the other side. But I would say give it as much information as you can. This one is interesting. This was a, uh, and I'll show you this in a second when I go to voiceover. This was a video I found on YouTube, sort of a house tour, uh, a room tour. And I took that video, got it down to 30 seconds, 28 seconds, uh, under 100 megabytes and uploaded that. And then Marble then created this really kind of a cool, uh, cool image. Uh, I'm still playing around with scale. That, that chandelier, too big. So, so we're learning along, or I'm learning along with, with you guys. If you're doing using splats and you have some feedback on, on working on scale, uh, let's pass that along to the Lightcraft Academy community. Let me go to voiceover now and we'll talk about how I source this and what my workflow is to get it from the phone to marble to super splat back into your phone. It's actually very easy. Let's go to voiceover. Okay, let's do the round trip that begins with a cell phone video and winds up back in your iPhone with a Gaussian splat. As I mentioned a moment ago, to reproduce my living room as a splat, I began with a 30 second video scan of the room and I captured some of the kitchen as I did a couple of 360s. From there, I uploaded the clip slightly less than the maximum length of 30 seconds into Marble and Marble went to work creating its own version of my living room as a Gaussian splat. From there, I downloaded the file as a dot ply you have a bunch of options, but it's important that you select Ply. Next, over to the free SuperSplat Editor website that I'll link to in the description, and you import your Ply file. I hit the space bar to get rid of the blue lines, and click on the Reset Camera button to set the origin. You can experiment here with the Scene Manager settings. You might start with the settings in the graphic I'll include in the description, and then later experiment on your own by using your own custom settings. It's important, however, that you change the Z rotation to 180. Export as a splat, copy the splat file to your iCloud Jet Set folder, placing it into the image folder. The next step assumes you have some familiarity with the Jet Set interface and can follow the easy steps you've been following to set the origin, fine tune the green screen keyer, and so on. Inside Jet Set, follow the steps in this video to open the model from that image folder, and you've now completed the round trip with an actual Gaussian splat model created from a video clip. And we are back, thought I would uh, change up my costume. We're in this kind of a grungy environment. This environment uh, is one of many on the Marble website that you can download. You simply download, as I just showed, uh, as a dot ply, bring that into Super Splat, do a little tweaking, export that uh, back into uh, Jet Set onto the app, and then you can be in a 3D environment like I am now. Of course, I have my iPhone doing its, uh, its own thing on a gimbal. Uh, I'll be back in a few days. I'm headed to Wales uh, for my winter over there, doing some more virtual production over there. But I'll be back in just a couple days. Thank you, as always, for watching. Take care.